So before this video starts, this guy wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for a few people in particular. Mainly Malikatory, making from great 100% video guides in the past, and CX Saltwater and Magic Windsock on Discord. Both of them have lots of experience in Magical Vacation. Without their help, this video wouldn't exist. Now back to the main topic. What's going on guys? This is Danger and welcome back to another video. So around mid-February of this year, I reviewed the game called Magical Vacation, a Japanese-only JRPG with a shocking amount of content in the game. While you're playing through the game, you'll occasionally find these seemingly random objects scattered throughout the overworld. Once you interact with them, you'll find one of 16 spirits. Uh, one of for each element. But how do you find them all? Today we're going to be seeing how you can find all the spirits in Magical Vacation. Okay, so if you clicked on this video just wanting to know where the spirits are in the area, go to the timescript in the description or on screen. But otherwise, I recommend listening to this part because there's a lot of prep before you go out hunting. So to start off, there are 16 spirits in the game, and there's 7 of each type, making for a grand total of 116 spirits to collect. You'll know if you have them all with the star icon in your spirits menu. When you talk to a spirit, they'll ask for something in return. For half of them, they'll ask for a certain type and amount of coin. For Fire it's Ignis Coin, Wind it's Ventus Coin, Beauty it's Decor Coins, Blade it's Gladius Coins, Sound it's Vox Coins, Water it's Aqua Coins, Thunder it's Tauntorous Coins, and Ancient it's Aniqua Coins. Now for some of these, coin prices can get pretty high, so where you can get more? Well you can fight enemies from one of those types to drop those specific type of coin, or the easier and more costly method is giving beer to these piranhas. If you give 10,000 beer to it, he'll give you a random coin. Give it 10 beer, and you can get one of each of them. If you want a specific coin, think about all these coins in a chart of sorts. Going in order, every 10 beer you give it moves it by 1, and after 8, it resets back to 1. So give it something like 2,000 beer, and it lines you off something like this, and it will default to the one you want. Some spirits are particularly interesting when it comes to these. The Sound Spirit Ketchy has a low amount of box coins to ask for already, but if you have Arcania, the Sound Girl in your party, and if you pick up the Ocarina item in the Cold Honey Palace in the Sound Room, you'll cut the price even more in half. The Blade Spear will also always ask you to drop all the gummy frogs if you have before the trade is initiated, but even then, if you didn't don't trade with them, the gummy frogs will still be spawned. However, you have Cast Blade Mage with you, he'll pick up the gummy frog in return, because you need as many of them as possible. Now for the rest of the normal spirits, Poison requires the Paralyzed Tails, Stone requires Blue Frogs, Inset requires Yellow Worms, Wood requires Pine Gones, and Beast requires Unstunned Tails. Insect normally doesn't show up in the overworld, but if you have the Magnifying Glass in the Insect Room in Cold Honey Palace, they'll spawn just fine. I recommend collecting the, the Stone and Insect Spirits first before trying to fight all the Beauty Spirits. The reason for this is if you collect worms, if you already have a lot of worms in your inventory, the beauty spirit will threaten to leave your party. I'm not joking. Well, why do you need to collect worms for stone? Well, it's simple, actually. Three spirits in particular, being stone, wood, and dark, only show up in the overall if you collected a certain amount of objects in your record card. Wood, you need to pick up pine cones, stone, you need to pick up gummy worms, and dark requires you to pick up gummy frogs. But speaking of dark, let's talk about these three spirits. The special ones, dark, light, and love. The easiest one to explain is love. Remember how I said you need to collect gummy frogs with the dark spirit? Yeah, don't actually start collecting the gummy frogs or dark spirits until you pick up all the love spirits. If you try to friend the love spirit with the lots of frogs collected, she'll reject you and be spawned forever. This makes the adventure significantly harder for a few areas like the Sword Tower, Iko, Damag, and the Brownie Hole due to having needed gummy frogs for all those dungeons, and for the Stone Spirit as well. You can't buy gummy frogs either, but getting them from chests and enemy drops are also are fair game. You should also have all the Love Spirits before you enter the Abyssal Corridor, because that area requires gummy frog collecting as it is. Speaking of, the gummy frog in the beginning of the tutorial area also increases the counter in your report card. So what do you do then? Well, Lemon's on the ground in, in dire pain, so give her the gummy frog and the, the counter will decrease. Somehow. Once you have all the Love Spirits, you can, get to, you can start gummy frog collecting. You need a thousand of them to spawn the first Dark Spirit. Wait, first required? Yeah, so if you want all the dark and light spirits, you need to, uh, you need to do the following in a simple step-by-step -step order. 
Step one, ignore all the dark spirits you come across. Step two, find all the light spirits until you have all six of them. Step three, find all the hidden dwarves around the dark and abyssal realm with latte. Step four, head into the final dungeon and get 30 abyssal stone to friend the brownie on the outside. He's level 300, he'll help you a lot. Step five, head to the Garomastala in the dark realm and select any difficulty. Step six, use that brownie to grind your party members to level 200 at minimum. I'm not joking. This process will take you weeks. Also, choose your party wisely. I also recommend having Candy with you in your party because she's not only fast, but she'll help you out in the dark dungeon. Step 7. Obtain 100 amigos and make sure you have 5 of each element so you can obtain the love magic and, well, if you're doing this on an emulator like me, just copy the file and put it in a separate folder and it will technically count as a new game. So constantly reset and fill it with a new spirit and then you'll find the game troll of the second file, save your game in exchange for the amiibo, and if you have all 100 spirits, your output will change as dark means. You now have good drip to start the next step. If you accidentally didn't get all the amigos right, so you can delete the amigos in the menu and try again. Now, step six, do not max out your new elements you've gotten. If you do, you won't be able to enter the bonus dungeon for the Dark Spirit. Step nine, go into the fifth floor of Garam and enter the Dark Portal on the left. Now you're into a cat. Or take out backwards. Step eight, stretch carefully throughout the dungeon until you get to the tenth floor and find best buddy Puka, who I call Melvin. Step eleven, you're my friend now. We're having soft tacos later. Step twelve. Defeat this cursed image of a fight, then fight the other thing to obtain the first Dark Spirit. You're not done yet, though. Step 13. Max out all the other elements you got from Mio mode to level 18 to get all the magic learned. This might take a while, but the easy method I found is find a bunch of enemies, stack up as many spirits as possible, and make sure you stack a bunch of spikers with the same element as possible, and only the powerful element of that magic, and bam, profit. Once you learn all the current magic, you'll attain light magic, and if you max that out, you get a new trip. Step 13b. This only applies if you're playing the female for tag. Why is she wearing an undershirt? She is 14, and I'm very very uncomfortable. Step 14, head back to the girl on fifth floor and this time take a right to enter your crib. Or turkey, backwards, don't know why. Step 15, go through the dungeon. It's very simple to understand if you played chess before. Lead the shiny king to the black king and open the portal. If you're too late to do it, there's a guy in the description for the whole dungeon. And finally, step 16, obtain the last light spirit. And that is how you maintain your virgin status. I, I mean, both the light and dark spirits. The last few points I need to make the guide is going through order of spirits and locations from the beginning when you start from the light realm to the last bonus dungeon. It's just easier to keep track of. But with all that being said, here are all the locations of the magical vacation spirits. The first fire spirit is located in maybe a let cavern right near your exit. You need two ignis coins to front him. The second fire spirit is located on the sixth floor of Aiko Domang, underneath the bridge. However, you need to nab a gummy frog before you talk to the spirit due to them being blocked by a path. So go here later if you're sure with a 100%. He requires three Ignis coins to front. The third fire spirit is located in Moimont Desert Cave, right next to Mace the dog. Grab him now and not later because he'll disappear if the mine is cleared out. He requires four Ignis coins to friend. The fourth fire spirit is located in Aquabit Castle. Head straight into the second room on the left and it'll hit you in front of a chest. He required 20 Ignis coins to friend. The fifth fire spear is located at Mount Mortimer. To get him, head all the way around, walk into the lava, and talk to him. He requires 12 Ignis coins to friend him. The sixth fire spear is located in Abo's village after saving chocolate. Again, he'll be sitting right next to Mace the dog. He requires 6 Ignis coins to friend. The seventh fire spear is located in the second chamber of the pyramid. You need at least 3 sound, insect, beauty, water, and poison spirit before finding him in the back. He requires 40 Ignis coins to friend, or one gummy frog in Mimulet Forest if you start it out as a fire page. The first wind spirit is located after you talk to all the sparrows individually without talking to the same one twice in the outskirts of Green Tea Village. After you see the red dialogue on the last rice bird, head back to the outskirts of Outran Village and head north to talk to the sparrow next to the pot to reveal the wind spirit. The second wind spear is located in Ufot Village, and you should be hanging out right next to the shot in the end. He requires one Ventus coin to friend. The third wind spear is located in the lower parts of Moimont Desert, and you should be on the left side of the oasis. He requires two Ventus coins to friend. The fourth wind spear is located in Aqua Bit Castle in the room on the right. Hug the bottom wall and find the wind spear, it should be right next to the chest. He requires 20 Ventus coins to friend. The fifth wind spear is located in the second chamber of the pyramid. You should have at least three sound, insect, dark, and blade spirits before finding him in the back. He requires 40 Ventus coins to friend, or one gummy frog in Mimulet Forest if you started the game as a wind mage. The sixth wind spear is located in the Earth of Darkness after the boss fight. 
located just north surrounded by logs and next to a dead tree where the spirit lies. He requires five Ventus coins to friend. The seventh wind spirit is located in the Swamp of Misery, near the middle of the swamp next to the dwarf. He requires ten Ventus coins to friend. The first poison spirit is located in Cold Hunt Palace inside the insect room. Guide the dodo to Love Hunter and the spirit will swan. Don't forget to leave this room right afterwards and find the magnifying glass behind it, because the Love Hunter will be spawned. The second poison spear is located in Spallock Swamp. He should be right next to the bridge. He requires 10 D paralyzed tails to friend. The third poison spear is located in Aqua Bit Castle in the room on the left. Head far right to the where he should be. He requires 30 D paralyzed tails to friend. The fourth poison spear is located on the eastern side of Spallock Swamp after the DNA of the forest. It is located after the HP and MP pots. He requires 15 D paralyzed tails to friend. The fifth poison spear is located in Abo's village on the far left side. He requires 20 D paralyzed tails to friend. The sixth poison spear is located in the first chambers of the pyramid. He needs these three wood and poison spears before seeing him. He requires 80 D paralyzed tails to friend, or one gummy frog in Mimulet Forest if you start as a poison mage. The seventh poison spear is located in Dressing Grotto near the bottom cavern sitting next to a pot. He requires 50 D paralyzed tails to friend. The first beauty spear is located in the fire room in Cold Honey Palace. You just need to guide the Yodo to the Love Hunter. The second beauty spear is located in the beauty room of the Cold Honey Palace, and should be between the chair and the desk. You should have at least one less. You should have less than 100 gummy worms before you talk to her and give her two decor points to friend her. The third beauty spear is located in Aqua Bay Castle and should be in the middle room of North. You should have less than 20 worms to talk to her and give her six decor points to friend her. The fourth beauty spear is located in the eastern side of the forest, surrounded by pink mushrooms. You should have less than 80 gummy worms to talk to her and get and give her three decor points to friend. The fifth beauty spear is located in Tough Mines, in the back corner of the room with the wakeful brownie. You should have less than 60 gummy worms to talk to her and, eight, and give her 8 decor coins to friend her. The sixth beauty spear is located in the pyramid's second chamber. You need at least 3 sound, insect, beauty, and electric spirits to access her. You should have no gummy worms when you talk to her and give her 12 decor coins to friend her, or one gummy frog you start as a beauty mage in Minulet Forest. The seventh beauty spirit is located in the Abyssal Corridor. In the first area, there's a secret room that you get to the beauty spirit and will be on the right side. You should have less than 40 gummy worms when you talk to her, and give her 10 decor coins to friend her. The first blade spirit is located in Cold Honey Palace in the Love Room and should be on the far left side. Talk to him and give him two Gladius coins to friend him. The second blade spear is located in Cold Honey Palace's Darkness Room, where you need to guide a dodo to the Love Hunter to friend him. The third blade spear is located in Spallock Swamp in the far south, next to the Caterpillar. Talk to him and give him six Gladius coins. The fourth blade spear is located in Aquabit Castle in the right room near the middle. Talk to him and give him ten Gladius coins. The fifth blade spear is located in Toph Mines in the room next to the Lone MP Pot and the Brownie. Talk to him and give him six Gladius coins. The sixth blade spear is located in the Pyramid Second Chamber. You need at least three blade, poison, light, wood, and love spears to talk to him. You need to give him at least 20 Gladius coins or one Gummy Frog in Mimulet Forest if you start as a blade mage. The seventh blade spear is located in Drazin Cavern near the midpoint of the dungeon, and you should have be near some rice bird and some bomble pots. Talk to him and give him 8 Gladius coins. The first sound spirit should just be outside the Mimulet Cavern near the pot. Talk to it and give it 1 box coin. The second sound spirit is located in Saurus Tower on the third floor. You have to feed some Saurus before you talk to him, and he requires 2 box coins or 1 if you have the ocarina. The third sound spirit is located in Masala Chai Village in the back of the inn. He requires three box points, or two with the ocarina. The fourth sound spear is located in Aquabit Castle. He is located in the right room near the bottom. He requires ten box points, or five if you have the ocarina. 
the fifth sound spirit is located in the awful box Hades. He should be in the room with all the chests right next to it. He requires four box coins or two if you have it, the ocarina. The sixth sound spirit is located in the pyramid's second chamber. You should have at least three sound, insect, dark, fire, and light spirits before you start him in the bath. He requires 20 box coins or 10 at the ocarina or one gummy frog and mimulet forest if you start a game as a sound image. The seventh sound spirit is located at Arco. You may have to circle around the pots, but he'll be in the back. He requires eight box coins or four if you have the ocarina. The first stone spirit is located in Cold Honey Palace in the Beast Room. You just have to get a go dodo to the Love Hunter to obtain him. The second stone spear is located in Ico Domag Tower on the third floor. Bomb a pot to find him in the back. He requires 10 gummy worms to spawn and 2 blue frogs to attain. The third stone spear is located in Totoff Mines in the first chamber with the brownie. He requires 20 gummy worms to spawn and 4 blue frogs to obtain. The fourth stone spear is also located in Totoff Mines in the second chamber with all the gummy frogs. He requires 50 gummy worms spawned and 10 blue frogs. The fifth stone spear is located in May Village on the outside of the inn. He requires 100 gummy worms spawned and 20 blue frogs. The sixth stone spear is located in Aqua Bay Castle in the middle chamber. He should be in the back. He requires 250 gummy worms spawned and 30 blue frogs to friend him. The seventh stone spear is located in the pyramid's second chamber. You need at least three blade, poison, love, stone, and wind spears to find him in the back. He requires 500 gummy worms spawn and 40 blue frogs to friend him, or one green frog to obtain Mimulet Forest if you start as a stone mage. The first insect spear is located in Cold Honey Palace in the Ancient Room. Guide the dodo to the Love Hunter to obtain him. The second insect spear is on the Soros Tower on the fourth floor, near the back of the area. You need the magnifying glass and five yellow worms to obtain. The third insect spear is located in Eclair Thicket. He'll be learning this after a series of ladders and gummy frogs, and he should be back at the end of the corridor. You need the magnifying glass and ten yellow worms to obtain. The fourth insect spear is located in Aquabit Castle on the left room. Hug the bomb and find him on the side. You need the magnifying glass and 20 yellow worms to obtain. The fifth spear is located in Enigma Forest. He should be near some fishes and pine cones. You need a magnifying glass and 15 yellow worms to obtain. The sixth insect spear is located in Tenadori. He should be right next to the entrance. He requires ma a magnifying glass and 20 yellow worms to obtain. The seventh insect spear is located in the pyramid's first chamber. You need at least three wood and insect spirits to find. You need a magnifying glass and 40 yellow words to obtain, or one gummy worm in Mimulet Forest if you start as an insect mage. The first wood spear is located in Mimulet Forest after the first boss in the center of an island. He requires one pine coat to obtain. The second wood spear is located in Yulfot Village on the side entrance. He requires 50 pine coats to spawn and five pine cones to obtain. The third wood spear is located in Spalik Swamp near the village. He requires 100 pine cones to spawn and 10 pine cones to obtain. The fourth wood spear is located on the eastern side of Spalik Swamp. He should, above, he should be above the HP and MP pot. He requires 150 pine cones to spawn and 20 to obtain. The fifth wood spear is located in front of Tothoff Mine's entrance. He requires 200 pine cones to spawn and 30 to obtain. The sixth wood spear is located in Aquabit Castle's left chamber right as soon as you enter. He, should, he requires 250 pine cones to spawn and 40 to obtain. The seventh wood spear is located in the pyramid's second chamber. You at least three sound, insect, beauty, and electric, and darkness spirits to find him in the back. He requires 300 pine cones to spawn and 50 pine cones to attain, or one gummy frog if you started the game out as a wood mage. The first beast spear is located in Cold Honey Palace in the Water Room. Guide the Dodo the Love Hunter to obtain him. The second beast spear is located in the end of Spalak Swamp near the Mace South, near Mace's house. He requires five on Stun Tails to obtain. The third beast spear is located in Aqua Bay Castle in the Middle Room. He should be on the right. He requires fifty on Stun Tails to obtain. The fourth beast spear is located in Eastern Forest near, near the HP and MP pot in the swamp. He requires 10 unstunned tails to obtain. 
The fifth beast spirit is located just right of Avo's village, hidden in a small alcove. He requires 20 unstun tails to obtain. The sixth beast spirit is located in the pyramid's first chamber. You need at least three stone and beast spirits to find him. He requires 80 unstun tails or one gummy frog in Mimulet Forest. He started as the beast mage. The seventh beast spirit is located in the entrance of Arco. He should be on a high ledge night next to gummy worms. He requires 30 unstun tails to obtain. The first water spirit is located in Colt Honey Palace in the Blade Room. Dad the Dodo to Love Hunter to obtain him. The second water spirit is located south down of Source Village, and a gummy frog is blocking a path, so grab it for later if you're going for 100%. He requires two aqua coins to obtain. The third water spirit is located in Spallock Swamp right near the deserted doll. Hidden in the background detail, he requires four aqua coins to obtain. The fourth water spirit is located in Aqua Bay Castle in the right chamber. Head to the top of the room and find him. He requires 20 aqua coins to obtain. The fifth water spirit is located in Totoff Mines after the room with all the blue frogs, hidden down south in the alcove that contains him. He requires six aqua coins to obtain. The sixth water spirit is located in the pyramid's second chamber. You need at least three blade, poison, love, thunder, and sound spirits to find him in the back. He requires 30 aqua coins to obtain, or one gummy frog in Mimulet Forest if you start as a water mage. The seventh water spirit is located in Argo. If you, have to, you have to get rid of the pots surrounding him before you collect him. He requires 10 aqua coins to obtain. The first thunder spirit is located in Cold Honey Palace on the outside. Get a dodo to love hunter to obtain him. The second thunder spirit is located in the quarry palace past the magic doll. He requires 30 Tauntorous coins to obtain. The third Thunder Spear is located in Masalachai Village, in the, middle, in the mayor's house at the entrance. He requires 5 Tauntorous coins to obtain. The fourth Thunder Spear is located in Aqua Bay Castle in the left room. Head to the northern area to find him. He requires 15 Tauntorous coins to obtain. The fifth Thunder Spear is located in Obelisk Village in the house of the Elder Brownie. Head to the corner to find it. He requires 7 Tauntorous coins to obtain. The 6th Thunder Spirit is located in May Village in the house with many pine cones in the east. He requires 9 Tauntorous coins to obtain. The 7th Thunder Spirit is located in the Pyramid's second chamber. You need at least 3 Blade, Poison, Light, Water, and Ancient Spirits to find him. He requires 21 Tauntorous coins to obtain, or 1 Gummy Frog if you started the game out as a Thunder Mage. The first ancient spear is located in westmost ruins after defeating the machine. He is blocked off by a gummy frog, so come back later if you're going for 100%. He requires three Aniqua coins to obtain. The second ancient spear is located in westmost ruins after defeating the bird boss. He should be in front of a pillar. He requires one Aniqua coin to obtain. The third ancient spear is located in Cold Honey Palace in the Wind Room. Guide the dodo to the Love Hunter to obtain him. The fourth ancient spear is located in Aqua Bay Castle in the middle room. Head to the right and you should be in the front of the chest. He requires 19 and equal coins to obtain. The fifth ancient spear is located in Abo's village in the shop in the top left corner. But he requires 9 and equal coins to obtain. The sixth ancient spear is located in the pyramid's first chamber. You should have at least 3 stone and ancient spirits to find him. He requires 27 and equal coins to obtain, or one gummy frog in Mimulet Forest if you started the game as an ancient mage. The seventh ancient spirit is located just outside the entrance of the Abyssal Corridor. He requires 14 and equal coins to obtain. The first star spirit is located in Mimulet Cavern at the entrance. You have at least collected two gummy frogs to spawn and defeat him in battle to obtain him. The second dark spear is located in Soros Tower on the fourth floor in the tape next to the table. You have the least collected 10 gummy frogs to spawn and defeat him in battle to obtain him. The third dark spear is located in Moimont Desert next to the cave. He requires 50 gummy frogs to spawn and you have to defeat him in battle to obtain him. The fourth dark spear is located in Eastern Forest right next east of the magic bust. 100 gummy frogs to spawn and you have to defeat him in battle to obtain him. The fifth dark spear is located in Ruins of the Earth, just located south of Arco. He requires 500 gummy frogs to spawn, and you have to defeat him in battle to obtain him. The sixth dark spear is located in Drazin Cavern near the bottom of the dungeon. 
he requires 900 gummy frogs to spawn, and you defeat him in battle to obtain him. The seventh dark sphere is located at the very end of the secret dark dungeon, Tua Cap. After getting 100 amigo registered and 1,000 gummy frogs collected, and not mastering every magic routine, they defeat him in battle and obtain him. And if you're going for 110, this should be the first one you have needed to collect it. The first light sphere is located in Outset Village Inn on the second floor. Just wait 50 seconds or so to spawn it. The second light spirit is located in Green Tea's Village Inn on the second floor. Just wait 50 seconds or so to spawn it. You should only have six or less dark spirits in your inventory. The third light spirit is located in Aqua Bay Castle in the right room. It should be on the left side, only if you have two or less dark spirits. The fourth light spirit is located in Spongebob's Village Inn. Just stand right next to the pot for 50 seconds and it should spawn. You should have only five or less dark spirits to obtain it. The 5th Light Spirit is located in May Village Inn on the far back. Just wait 50 seconds around here and it should spawn. You should only have 5 or less Dark Spirits to friend. The 6th Light Spirit is located in Arco. It should be in the room of the Veil of Darkness after all the pots cleared out. The 7th Light Spirit is located in the Secret Light Dungeon Eurocrit. After solving the chest with all the puzzles, getting all magic maxed out, and having the only Dark Spirit in Zubaket, it should be in the air at the end. You should have 1 or less Dark Spirits to obtain. You can even skip the boss if you want. The first love spirit is obtained after following Millie back to Outset Village, then after all the dialogue, head back to Westboat's Ruins entrance and should be there. The second love spirit is located in Soros Tower. On your first visit, talk to the Soros from the fourth floor and if you say yes to his dialogue, then after you have gotten Latte in your party, talk to him again from the top of the tower and fall down the hole that, that just spawned. Then, after talking to him, head outside the area and the spirit should spawn. Don't collect 200 gummy frogs when you talk to the spirit. The third left spirit is located in Aqua Bay Castle's left room. Head to the far left to find it. The fourth left spirit is located in the light after the fight with Vataboom. Say no when he asks you to kill him, then head to the jungle's first room to find it there. Don't have collected 50 or more gummy frogs when you talk to the spirit. The fifth left spirit is located after the second after you give the second magic doll to Mace in Moima Desert, then after the volcano, head to the Rubin Abos village and talk to him, and find him again in Osem village, then head back to Abos to find Cinnamon and talk to Ma and tell her that Mace is in Osem, then head back to Osem village and talk to Cinnamon to spawn the spirit inside the house next to his house to Masalachai village. And make sure you have don't have 100 gummy frogs collected. The sixth luck spirit is after the fog golem fight. The pot asks you to kill it, decline the offer, and head back to the mayor's house to find the spirit in the corner. Make sure you haven't collected a single gummy frog before talking to it. The seventh love spirit is located in the pyramid's second chamber. You need at least three blade, poison, love, and thunder spirits to find the love spirit at the middle. Make sure you have collected no gummy frogs and bought no gummy frogs in the shops. And that is how you get all the magical vacation spirits. But how did I do? So let's review. After obtaining the last spirit, I ended with a time of 79 hours and 26 minutes, so a little over 3 days total. But trust me, this whole journey was starting around mid-March, so this whole project nearly took me around a month or so. Combined with the Garam Basala training, the actual adventure taking around 25 hours, and getting all the amigos, yeah, it can take a while, and it probably was a bit even longer. Not even mentioning the re amount of research I had to do for this one video. But I am curious. Can you bring this time down lower? Maybe down to 40 hours or something? Maybe we'll see in the future. If you like this video, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. It really gives me serotonin and keeps me motivated. And let me know something else. What's your favorite spirit in Magical Vacation? Let me know down in the comment section below. Alright guys, I'll see you later. I promise, videos like this won't take me another, like, several months to make. I promise.